Hello everybody, it's Chris from Two Ton Studios again. Figure I'd do another tutorial here. This time I'm going to do a wet palette. I'm going to show you a few different options. Go over, you know, start with the most expensive option that I found, and work your way down to work our way down to the cheapest option, which is going to be a do-it-yourself palette. So I'm going to start off with a Formula P3. This is from Privateer Press. Really good wet palettes in a handy, you know, hard shell black case. And the case itself opens up. Inside you've got foam like what your miniatures would come packed in. And for this, you just put water in it, and then it, it comes with a, a pack of palette papers, which is just like a, a like a baking parchment type paper. And you put it in there. Of course, it'll curl up. Once it curls up, uh, pick it up, turn it over, and kind of spread it back down. And then, uh, if there's any pools of water on top of the parchment paper, just sop them up with a with a paper towel. That way, you don't have pools of water sitting on top. Um, this one actually sells for twenty bucks. It's a really good palette. I uh, picked this one up while I was here at Adepticon, figured it'd be a good idea to, you know, get some options to show you instead of just showing you how I'd do uh, a, a do-it-yourself version, I should say. And the nice thing about this is it comes with a huge pack of palette paper, and you can buy these as a refill kit as well. I believe it's $6.99. I've not, I've not found a price point on that yet. Um, once I do, I'll put it up on my blog, that way you guys can see what it costs. Um... It's not watertight, so I wouldn't like transport it with with water in it. Uh, make sure you drain your water out before you do transport it. But it does have a really good clicking, you know, type clasp on it. You don't have to worry about it falling open and you losing your palette paper or your your sponge that it comes with. Um, and I said twenty bucks, really good, you know, really good buy. So keep this one in mind. Also, while we were here at Adepticon, we found a booth that had one. Uh, it's a big white one. It's a big square thing. Let me raise this up a little bit so you can see the whole thing here. It's pretty good sized. And it's from a company called Masterson's. It's like a true artist palette. It's their Stay Wet Handy palette. And I'll open this one up for you. It's got an actual full removable lid. You know, it, again, not watertight, so I definitely wouldn't try to transport, you know, wet paint or anything in it. Now this one works is instead of being parchment paper it's like in a they call it acrylic paper in the instructions and the instructions say soak the paper for 15 minutes in hot water um, my brain didn't make some, you know still hasn't logically figured this one out yet because pa you think pa get paper wet it's ruined um, but apparently you soak this for 15 minutes and uh, put it on the palette you know and then you take the sponge which to me looks like a um, like a chamois cloth or uh, or something like that, and you get that wet and make sure it stays down in there. Um, you don't want water pulled up in, in the bottom of this or anything, I'm assuming. I'm not too familiar with this one yet. I uh, di really didn't want to give it too much of a go here to Depticon because I don't want to be you know, tra trying to transport anything sopping wet. And then uh, your parchment paper just goes on it like that. Um, the One of the neat things about this that I read from the instructions on this one is the paper is reusable. Uh, apparently it's durable enough that you can you know rinse it off, give it a light scrubbing, and turn the paper over. Um, this packet is twelve ninety nine. It comes with five sheets of the paper and then the sponge that you put in the bottom, and it you know seals shut pretty good like that. Um, and then my option, and this is what I've been using for years. Well, it, probably about two years now, I think. And it is just simply a like a sandwich type container, like what you get from you know the grocery store or something like that. It's just a plastic resealable sandwich container. And how I do mine is I buy the uh, the select a size paper towels, and then just take so I'll slide that aside here and take and just fold them in half. And just I use three three sections of the selected size paper towel so it's nice and thick and holds water pretty well. And I just stuff it down in like so and get it get it good and wet and then just you know I use small squares of parchment parchment paper and I just use regular baker's parchment paper, nothing fancy. You can buy it in a huge roll with at the grocery store. And then you know of course you know get it wet. It'll curl up and then just let it flatten itself out. Don't try to force it flat. Because it'll keep wanting to curl up on you, just let it flatten itself back out. Flip it over. Same thing with the one from Privateer Press. Just sop up the extra water that's on it with a dry piece of paper towel, and you're good. Um, this one here, depending on, you know, 
if you buy this as a single tray or if you buy, in a, buy them in a pack, um, and then your roll of paper towels and the parchment, you're going to spend maybe six, seven dollars on all your materials. And if it gets, you know, broken, cracked, whatever, just throw it out and make a new one. Um, I believe this is my second container I've start, I've used so far. And, you know, it's, it's great. Of course, this one here is still not watertight, but more so than the other options. Um, I have been known to transport wet paper towel in these by going up to, you know, like when I go up to the game shop or whatever, um, and not had them leak, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't really recommend testing that theory because sometimes these lids don't fit that well, depending on what brand you use. This is just some generic brand I found at the dollar store, I think. Um, so if you keep your options super cheap by, by shopping wisely, you can have a wet palette very inexpensively, and it's something I recommend that all painters do, especially if you're using paint out of dropper bottles. Um, that way you, you know, you're getting the full use of your paint. It, the concept behind the wet palette is the, you put the parchment paper on the wet surface and it draws the moisture up through the parchment paper into your paint. And by doing so, it'll keep your paint moist and keep it from drying out on you. So you can get longer, longer life out of your paint. Also, it helps thin the paint out a little bit so you're not, you know, having to add a lot of extra water to it. And um, one thing that I do recommend you do is don't use tap water. You know, just buy a big jug of distilled water. Those are less than a dollar, depending on where you go. So, um, and that will keep the keep these containers from taking on a funky odor. So, a really good tip there on that one. Um, I think that's all I've got on the wet palette. Uh, if anybody has any questions, just shoot me an email. I'll be glad to answer them. Wet palettes are a huge recommendation for me. Um, I, something I learned two years ago at Adepticon, and I've been using it ever since. I think everybody should use them. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night.